Ben. <laughs> You're all I have. Please don't leave me and the baby. Don't worry, darling. I won't let anyone harm you or tarnish Global's reputation. Desperate to save Amber's career and Global's future, Nathan immediately ordered his PR team to release a press statement labeling his and Amber's viral pictures as misleading attempts of the rival companies to tarnish his reputation. Over the next three days, he contacted everyone he could think of to clean up Amber's image and cast blame on Emma. He even asked a few social media influencers to post glowing reviews of his company and paid crazy money to the media to print glorifying articles about Amber's modeling career. Darling, I promise the public will soon forget this scandal and you'll be back to work in no time. I've taken care of everything. Oh, honey, I knew you would do everything to protect me and our child. Nathan's goal was to strengthen Amber's chances to win the Top 10 Model Award. Once you get that award, I will send you and our child to a new country, away from the prying eyes of the public and the paparazzi. Nathan knew that once Amber became a top model, she'd be a valuable asset to global entertainment. Meanwhile, Lisa arrived outside Emma's house with breaking news. Nathan's strong PR campaign to protect Amber had triggered a public backlash against Emma. After reading the press release, Lisa was worried for Emma and wanted to plan their next move. But she was surprised to find Emma missing. Where did she go? I hope Nathan has not taken any extreme step. She immediately dialed Emma, hoping for the best but fearing the worst. Hey, Lisa. Thank God, Emma. Are you all right? Where are you? I am fine. Sorry, I haven't had the chance to tell you. I moved. Where did you move to? Is it because of Nathan's PR? Does he know where you are? Before Emma could reply, Eric, clad only in a towel, walked into the bathroom, not realizing Emma was on the phone. Is it bath time yet? A wave of worry and disbelief flashed on Lisa's face as she heard that unrecognized voice. Emma, who is that? Are you safe? Is someone taking advantage of your situation? Tell me where you are, and I am coming to get you right now. Not knowing how to break her news of marriage to Lisa, Emma turned to Eric for help. My manager seems to think I need help. I would like to talk with her in person before she misunderstands anything and takes any wrong step. Do you trust her completely? After you, she is my most trusted person in the world. Hearing that, a romantic smile curled up on Eric's face. Then let me send someone to pick her up. Lisa, I am sending a car for you. Lisa paced back and forth in anxiety. Dreadful thoughts were popping up in her mind. What's going on? Did Emma willingly leave with another man? Is he someone from the entertainment industry? Does she realize the consequences of these flings? What if Nathan or Amber finds out? Just then, a limousine pulled up right in front of her eyes. Luke, Eric's assistant, called out to her. Miss Lisa, please get in the car. I'm here to take you to see Emma. Lisa's eyes went wide in wonder as she looked at the lavish limousine. Emma has sent a limousine for me? What big fish did she get a hold of last night? But soon, her wonder turned to anger and worry. I hope Emma's all right. If Emma has even one scratch on her body, I will do some serious physical harm to you and your boss. Let's not talk about who is going to hurt who. Please, get in the car. Emma is waiting for you. Lisa kept staring at Luke with an intimidating face throughout the ride. But as the car approached one of the most expensive streets in Tribeca, Lisa's eyes went wide in disbelief. Who the hell is your boss? You will find out soon. As the car entered the magnificent mansion, Lisa's worry multiplied. She realized she needed to be extra careful because whoever lived here must possess a lot of power to go along with their money. Luke escorted Lisa to Emma. She remained quiet as the elevator opened up to a grand living room where Emma was waiting on the gorgeous sofa and looked as stunning as the Manhattan view behind her. Emma, what's going on? How did you land in this giant mansion? What's happening? Do you even have a new boyfriend? Before Emma could respond, Eric entered the room, flashing his charming smile. Hello, Lisa. Eric Roberts? Oh, the CEO of Kaleidoscope. Emma, this can't be true. Lisa couldn't believe her eyes. She stood frozen in disbelief. Her best friend was in the house of Eric Roberts. What will happen when she will learn about Emma's secret marriage? How will this news affect her relationship with Emma? Will Lisa use Emma's secret marriage with billionaire Eric Roberts to her advantage? Emma, pinch me. I want to know if I'm dreaming. Are you married to Eric Roberts, the CEO of Kaleidoscope? Am I hallucinating? You're not hallucinating, Lisa. It's really him, my new husband. Lisa jumped up in excitement and hugged Emma. 
She was pulsating with happiness. Emma, this is the best decision of your life. Oh, when Nathan finds out, it will be crazy. I can't wait to watch his rotten face when he hears this. Lisa, you need to calm down. I'm not planning to announce my relationship with Eric just yet. But why? This marriage could skyrocket your career. Exactly, that's why. I don't want people saying my success is because I'm Mrs. Eric Roberts. I don't want to be labeled as a gold digger. Three years ago, I became a top model in New York through my own hard work. I'm confident I can do it again. Lisa was proud watching Emma's commitment to her dignity and self-respect despite being married to the city's biggest billionaire. If you're still willing to help me, then let's do this together. But if you want to move on, I won't pressure you. I understand. In fact, I'll even help you find another position at a better company. Are you out of your mind? Of course I am with you in this. I want to manage the next international supermodel. But are you planning to stay at Global Entertainment? What do you think? Emma's expressive eyes spoke volumes. Nathan has used me enough. Now it's payback time. That's my girl. So what's the next move? Should we release the video? No, let's wait for the right time. First, let's secure the spokesperson deal. Take it right out of Amber's hands. Then, when her fans are complaining, we'll release the video. Lisa was mighty impressed with this new powerful Emma. She had never imagined Emma could be such a sassy boss lady. Ooh, I am loving this sneaky side of yours. <laughs> Where was this Emma before? The worst people sometimes bring out the best in you. It's time to show them what I got. Can you please help me edit the clips from the Bell M show and post them online? Definitely, leave it to me. Emma sent Lisa home and returned to the scented bedroom. Eric had changed into a robe and was sitting on the sofa enjoying a glass of red wine. Emma couldn't help but stare at his gorgeous muscles and sculpted body. Just looking at him made Emma's heart flutter. Seeing her, even Eric felt a strong pull towards her. He reached for her and softly kissed her, his lips tasting of the full-bodied red wine. Did you like the taste of wine on my lips? Perhaps you should try some more. As Emma nodded with a lusty smile on her face, Eric took a deep sip of wine and kissed her gently at first. Then, with more and more passion, Emma had never felt such pulsating sensations before. She melted away in his strong arms and was ready to take the plunge. Eric, let's go to bed. The next morning, Emma's career was ready to soar high. Unexpectedly, Emma's straightforward responses to the media had helped her gain a huge fan following. Her new fans couldn't have enough of her, as her old videos were trending. Her performance with the Crown star during the Bell M show had won her spectacular praise. Sir, our fan mail is bombarded with Emma's videos. People are constantly tagging our social media handles to her photos and videos. She seems to be the talk of the town. Seeing the crazy numbers on her secretary's tablet, Julius Taylor decided to watch the videos of Emma's performance. He was amazed by her beauty and suddenly realized that the model he had been so angry with was the perfect match for his jewelry. Oh my god, we have made a huge mistake. Emma is a perfect match for our precious crown star. Amber could never pull this aura. Julius immediately called a meeting at Bell M to discuss switching his new spokesperson. Emma has to be the next spokesperson. He immediately called Nathan to convey his decision. Mr. Taylor, glad you called. You would be happy to know that Amber has almost completely recovered from her injuries and should be able to represent your company very soon. Well, no need for that now, Nathan. Bell Am has decided to change spokespersons. We would like Emma to step in for Amber. Nathan was beyond shocked to hear this decision. He didn't know how to react. But Mr. Taylor, that's not right. It's against our contract. We haven't signed the contract yet. If you are not willing to have Emma serve as the spokesperson, we would prefer to cancel this collaboration and work with another company. Julius Taylor's decision had put Nathan in a dilemma. Will he succumb to his demand, or will he stand by Amber and lose the contract? Will Amber let the deal slip from her hands so easily? And what will Amber do now to get back at Emma? To find out what happens next. Hi guys, Emma here. Don't let your excitement die. The full audio series is on the Pocket FM app. Tap the link in the description to install now.